Greetings world. We are anonymous. Greetings citizens of Alberta, today we're talking about our premier Danielle Smith. Danielle Smith, with the support of Take Back Alberta, won her seat as premier. Half of the UCP board is controlled by directors endorsed by this right-wing group. The group Take Back Alberta has strong ties to the protests that blocked the Coots border last year. The new UCP director for Central Alberta said in an interview that the board is there to make sure she's doing what we want. She promised to fix our health care. What's her solution? Private health care. Private means profits first, not patient care. If you have no money, she suggested that your family pay your medical bills, or you can just set up a fundraiser and beg strangers for money. The first thing she said after becoming premier was that the unvaccinated people against COVID-19 were the most discriminated against group that she's seen in her lifetime. She even promised she would pursue amnesty or pardons for rule breakers. She supports the use of ivermectin as an alternative treatment for COVID-19 against medical expert advice that the drug is unsafe to use for the virus. She talked to prosecutors about the Coots arrests during the blockade to see if charges could be dropped. Then she said she didn't. She said she had Cherokee blood. It was a lie. Then she claimed to have Ukrainian roots. She blamed cancer patients for having stage 4 cancer. She said that you should have seen the signs long before it got to stage 4 and that it was completely under your control. She said that the risk of getting cancer from smoking cigarettes was not only exaggerated by health experts, but that smoking cigarettes also had special health benefits. She claimed smoking cigarettes can actually improve the health of smokers. She has said so many things about her Alberta Sovereignty Act, some of them in complete contradiction of each other. Albertans don't know what to believe anymore. The R Star Scam. As a lobbyist, she advocated for the R Star program that would pay oil and gas companies to clean up their wells, which is already required of them by law. This didn't go anywhere then. But now that she's premier she's offering $20 billion to these companies to do their jobs. The federal government has already given more than $1 billion to the province to get this done and it didn't get done. Why not just enforce the law? She created a review panel with a $2 million budget to review Alberta's COVID-19 public health restrictions and appointed Preston Manning to head this panel with a salary of $253,000. The UCP already spent $475,000 on a third-party review of Alberta's response in 2021. Manning has made it very clear that he did not agree with COVID restrictions and has spoken out against them. Less than two weeks after being appointed, the official administrator of Alberta Health Services paid $1,462.50 to a limousine service for a same-day return trip from Calgary to Edmonton. For comparison, he could have booked a return flight to Japan for $1,464. She is lying to Albertans about the just transition. She and her staffers pretended an internal federal government document contains a plan for the imminent demise of the oil and gas industry. There's just one small problem, it's not even remotely close to true. There is so much more to say and none of it is good news for Albertans. Danielle Smith, we are on to you. We are watching you. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.